Hi, this is a quick message about how Screener is saving me time teaching. Screener is a free screencast program. So basically it takes film of up to five minutes of your desktop. If you want audio, all you need is a microphone and that's pretty much it. It does use sign on through Twitter. So it asks you to create an account, but you never have to put anything on Twitter. Uh, I find Screener really easy to use when I'm helping students navigate around online environments and giving them a little bit of detail about each week's topics. So this is my Blackboard page and really all I'm doing on my computer is clicking through these areas like I would if I was normally using the computer. It's just that Screener is also capturing what I'm doing on the computer and sending it to you. So in PYB triple zero, um, our next topic is going to be working in groups and this page isn't finished yet but if I wanted to show students hey this is this week's topic I would click on working in groups and then show them the area in Blackboard. Uh, these students have to find their way to the team learning modules that are at QUT and so I could actually use this video to show them hey guys click through to successful teams uh, I might show them a few little things about that module, show them how to click through each activity and get through the particular modules. I might show them where they have to print off their responses just to make sure that they bring things to class. One of the other things that I've been using Screener to do is answer questions about online environments. So if somebody emailed me and said, I can't find the assessment, I'm new to QT, new to Blackboard, help me, instead of sending them a really long list of, oh, we go to the PYB triple zero page. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see a dark blue menu. Uh, if it's not appearing, it means that it's uh, sort of, it's ex not an extended menu. So you need to click on this dark blue lettering that says this, psychology and professional context. Click on that. Then you'll find assessment. Click on that. All of that is actually a lot of typing and when every student has different questions I find it's easier to just turn screen on and show them exactly what I mean. So just like I've shown you there I will show them where the home page is, uh, show them how to expand and contract this menu and then I'd show them where the assessment tab is so that they could find it and I could even talk them through look this is all you're expecting to find right now I haven't added anything extra so if this is what you're seeing then that's a good sign. Uh, if I wanted to introduce my students a little bit more to a topic, I might suggest a YouTube video that they could watch and I could even play the start of the video. So this one's about teamwork in the Tour de France and that would, might be a nice example to start the week off with that's a bit more practical or engaging than what I could normally provide. So I'll stop that one there. Uh, I might also show them my wiki. So in PYB triple zero, we're keeping a class wiki. And if I wanted to start off week three really well, I could even show them, hey, that's week three's, thing, week three's topic, click on there, and you'll get to our discussion where you can contribute some material. So I've done all of this and shown you all around these websites in about three minutes. And now I'm just going to click done and Screener will take care of either putting my video on YouTube, creating a downloadable file, or just keeping it on my screen or profile where I can send students. Hope you've enjoyed it. See ya.